So what on earth is DeFi? Let's break it down. DeFi stands for Decentralized Finance. Basically, finance without banks. Normally your money sits in a bank, which acts as a middleman, moving and lending your money for a fee. DeFi removes the bank entirely. Instead, code, smart contracts on the blockchain, does the work. These smart contracts can lend, borrow, and trade all automatically, 24-7. No holidays, no paperwork, no asking for permission. You hold your own funds in a digital wallet and interact directly with these services. It's like being your own bank with no gatekeepers. DeFi is open to anyone, anywhere, as long as you have internet. The system is transparent. Anyone can see the code and transactions. No more hidden fees or secret formulas. It's a global, open alternative to traditional finance. But remember, with great power comes great responsibility. DeFi gives you control, but also puts you in charge of your own security. It's finance reimagined. By the people, for the people. And yes, there are risks. But we'll get to those soon. Welcome to the world of DeFi. DeFi versus your bank. The ultimate showdown. Traditional finance is familiar, regulated, and has customer support. Opening a bank account means paperwork, ID checks, and waiting. Sending money abroad? Expect delays and high fees. DeFi, on the other hand, is borderless and permissionless. All you need is a crypto wallet and internet. No questions asked. Anyone, anywhere, can access the same financial tools. Transactions happen in minutes, not days. The biggest difference? Transparency. Banks are black boxes. You trust them with your money but can't see what's happening. DeFi is built on open blockchains. Every transaction is public. Trust is in the code, not the brand. But with DeFi, you're your own bank and tech support. Lose your wallet password? That money's gone. No one can help. No customer service, no insurance. It's ultimate freedom, but also ultimate responsibility. TradFi offers safety nets. DeFi offers control. Choose wisely. Each has its trade-offs. In DeFi, you're the superhero and the sidekick. The choice is yours. The good stuff. Why people are buzzing about DeFi. DeFi is accessible. No banks, no paperwork, just a smartphone and internet. Billions of unbanked people can now save, borrow, and invest globally. Costs are lower. No buildings, no staff, just code. That means fewer fees and often better interest rates. Earning yield in DeFi can beat traditional savings accounts. Loans are instant. Put up crypto as collateral and a smart contract handles the rest. No credit checks, no bias, just logic. You control your assets. Self-custody means no one can freeze your funds. The space is a playground for innovation. Open source code lets anyone build new financial tools. From insurance to prediction markets, new ideas pop up constantly. DeFi is like financial Legos. Stack, combine, and create. It's fast, global, and always on. For many, it's a chance to join a financial system that was never open to them before. That's why DeFi is making so much noise. It's not just hype, it's real change. But it's not all sunshine. Let's talk risks. Before you dive in, let's talk risks. Crypto prices are volatile. Your balance can swing wildly overnight. Smart contracts can have bugs. Hacks happen. And there's no one to bail you out. If you lose your wallet password, your money is gone forever. DeFi is confusing. Wallets, gas fees, and interfaces can be a headache. Scams are everywhere. Rug pulls, fake projects, and too-good-to-be-true promises. There's no regulation or insurance. You have to do your own research and stay alert. If something sounds too good to be true, it probably is. DeFi rewards the careful and punishes the careless. Enter with eyes wide open. So, what's next for DeFi? No one knows for sure. Banks are paying attention and the lines between DeFi and TradFi are starting to blur. We might see DeFi features in your regular banking app soon. The goal isn't to destroy the old system, but to build a better, more inclusive one. There will be bumps, hacks, scams, and regulatory battles. But DeFi has already changed how we think about money. Whether it succeeds or fails, it's a revolution in progress.